Hey you guys, I have a little bit of an update for you, so I'm interrupting this video to share a big asterisk from this video for you. So when I first filmed this video a few weeks ago, our focus was just going to be to do fabric substitutions, but since then I've received a lot more feedback and requests from you of what you would like to see from these videos. So just an FYI, this video is going to be focused on fabric substitutions. In the future though, I will include more of the process in our future videos, but I couldn't go back and redo this video because the blocks were already made. So a little bit of a, an FYI for you, the video this week is going to be focused on fabric substitutions, future videos, we are going to do more of the process for making the blocks. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you have fun making autumn love with me and I cannot wait ah, to continue making these blocks with you guys. Happy viewing, have fun. <laughs> I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop and today we are here to kick off our Autumn Love Sew Along by Lori Holt. I am a little giddy with excitement. I have been waiting to make this quilt for a number of years. It is one of my favorites. It's at the top of the list of my favorites, Lori Holt quilts. I am absolutely ecstatic to make this with you guys and today we're here to kick it off with week one. Um, now, are, as you know, the Autumn Love Fabric Collection by Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs has been mostly discontinued. There are maybe a couple SKUs that are left from that collection, but the majority of it has been discontinued. So part of the reason that we have not done an Autumn Love throwback so long previously is because um, we had to figure out how to get similar fabrics in order to have it look kind of like the original quilt. Through much encouragement from our Happy Little Stitcher community, I finally got brave enough uh, to give it a go. And so Happy Little Stitch Shop has put together a redone Autumn Love Quilt Kit. So this does not include all of the original fabrics like uh, the original Autumn Love. It does include some of the original Autumn Love fabrics that are still available, but most of them have been substituted with a variety of Lori Holt fabric collections. They're all Lori Holt fabrics or Riley Blake confetti cottons when called for. Um, but they're uh, pulled from a variety of Lori Holt uh, fabric collections. So your kit will include uh, fabric prints from many, many collections. Um, so we went ahead and put together a kit, which is available at happylittlestitchshop.com if anybody is interested in it. A number of you have already received your kits, and hopefully you've been getting ready and you are ready to jump into week one. Now, um, each year at Happy Little Stitch Shop, we do try to offer a throwback quilt along if you're like me and you missed out on doing the original with Lori. Uh, a few years ago, we did Vintage Christmas as a throwback quilt along. Uh, last year, we did the Be Happy quilt, and this year, we are jumping into Autumn Love, and I'm super excited about it. I will tell you that the way that we're going to run this sew along through Happy Little Stitch Shop is um, each week I will post on our Happy Little blog, which you can access through happylittlestitchshop.com, and then in the drop-down menu you can see blog, and you can click on that. And each week I will post about the, the block that we will be doing that week. I have already posted out there our Be Prepared post for Autumn Love, in which I link Lori's original Be Prepared post, also any other pertinent information that, that you might need and getting ready for the sew along. Um, and that's kind of how the blog is going to be used each week for this sew along. I will link all of Lori's original blog posts so that you can have them in one easy place to find. And then each week we will also do a video. The video will be on our Happy Little Stitch Up YouTube channel where you're watching this one right now. And um, the purpose of the video will primarily be to help you out with fabric substitutions to make sure that you know what fabrics are being placed where. Uh, because all of the how to make the blocks is provided to you through Lori's blog posts. So I'll maybe do just a little bit of some stuff with you each week here, but primarily it's going to be for fabric substitution information. So here we are for week one. I have already done the Be Prepared blog post, which is on our happy little blog through happylittlestitchshop.com. In that blog post, you can go and read it, but I linked Lori's original blog post where you can find the Autumn Love Sew Along Guide. So you'll need this to, and print it out for all of the Autumn Love information in order to make this quilt. 
I did update the schedule to reflect what schedule we're going to be doing. And you can see that on our, in that blog post as well. So our happy little stitch shop schedule is posted in that blog post on our happy little blog. And then you will also see in that original post fabric substitution information. So there are a few pages that are posted out there for fabric, fabric substitutions. And of course, once you get your kit, once you print out the sew long guide, you print out the substitution information, you're also going to need your Autumn Love Sew Simple Shapes by Lori Holt. All of this stuff that I'm telling you about is available through happylistitshop.com. Okay, I think that's all of the startup information. Now, let's dive into the first week. Week one, we are going to be working on the crow and pumpkin block. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Okay, here is our crow and pumpkin block. Now, you will see that I made this one using the original Autumn Love fabrics. And the reason that I'm going to do it this way is so that you can see exactly what the fabric substitutions are and exactly what the placement is within each block. So this one is using our original Autumn Love fabric collection. And this one is using our Redone quilt kit fabric from the Autumn Love collection. I don't have the crow in there, but look at the two of those. Not too shabby. I'm so excited. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I didn't put together all of this um, second one. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through, and I'm going to talk to you about fabrics right now. I haven't made this yet because I wanted to talk to you about adding that little yellow part before putting together the crow. So, to start, the original Autumn Love used this brown with the squares on it for the center. For our Happy Little Stitch Shop, we are using this one for the center. So this is the substitute fabric for this. I keep all these straight, <laughs> put them in separate piles. This one should be easy. The called for for the stem is the same. So. This is a Riley Blake Confetti Cotton, so they're both going to be the same. Um, so that, that's an easy one. You will see three browns in your, three confetti, brown confetti cottons in your kit. Um, one of them is beach, which will be the lighter one. One of them is nutmeg and cinnamon. I can't remember. So this is the shade that you're looking for for your stem. Okay. This one was used over here for the crow's legs and for the crow's beak. And our substitute in our Happy Little Stitch Up kit is here for the crow's leg and up here on this piece for the crow's beak. So original, substitute. Here we have the text which was used for the sunflower in the original and here we have this one that is used in our um, redone kit, or the, our Happy Little Stitch Up kit. Here we have the orange middle section for the pumpkin in the original, and here from B Plaids we have this for the middle section of the pumpkin. So original substitution. Here is another of the orange pumpkin sections, and here is this one. So you can see pumpkins here, Televisions here. I think that TVs are still fall related because all the new seasons used to come out in the fall. Everybody would look forward to the new television shows coming out. Okay, over here we have the original orange, and here, also from B Plaids, I think, is the substitute orange. And then for the greens, this is the pumpkin leaf. And here's the pumpkin leaf up here. Original, substitute. Green pumpkins for the sunflower stem. Cute little potted flowers for the sunflower stem over here. Here is one of the sunflower leaves. And here from Granny Chic is another sunflower leaf. 
Got a little bee plaids, got a little granny chic, got a little prim coming up. Here's the original for this other sunflower leaf. And here, um, this is the one I think is from Prim, is for the other sunflower leaf, so original substitute. Crow, crow's uh, wing, substitute crow's wing from Bee Ginghams. So original Autumn Love, and here is the Bee Gingham right there. And then for the crow, original Autumn Love, and here is the substitute right here. And then, this is not hard at all, how fabulous that we still have access to the original Autumn Love background. So that's not a hard, hard thing to figure out at all. We still have access to this beautiful gunny sack in the Autumn Love colors. It's fabulous. So I've gone ahead and glue basted this one down. I have not applicated it yet because I want to get both of them done and then I'll go through and applicate it together. So the other thing I wanted to just kind of put a little bug in your ear about is before you do your crow, don't forget to add on this little piece. Lori talks about it in her blog. I'm just drawing special attention to you for it so that you don't forget. Um, you add this little piece to the edge of your crow fabric and then you have your crow uh, traced on your interfacing. Put it all the way to the edge of your yellow fabric so that the beak and then you go ahead and you sew around it like just like you normally will it would and cut out a quarter of an inch and then you'll have a little beak just like I have on this one. We'll have a little crow beak at the at the front of the crow's face. So I have yet to do this and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue baste all of this together and I will be back so that we can see the original Autumn Love with the Happy Little Stitch Shop Redone Autumn Love Kit. So far, they're looking pretty, pretty okay. So I'm excited about it. So I'll be right back with you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I have my second crow and pumpkin block complete using our Happy Little Stitch Shop quilt kit. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready? We are nearly done with our first block. I can hardly believe it. Okay, let's take a peek. Here are both blocks. I just had this on here because it was drying with the glue. It's not quite dry yet, but look at that. Not too shabby. It's pretty good. So here is the original Crow and Pumpkin Block, and here is the Happy Little Stitch Shop uh, Quote Kit Crow and Pumpkin Block for our Autumn Love So Long. So I hope that you guys enjoyed making block one. I hope you are off to a good start. We will be back with you next week for the wagon block. That one is gonna be another fun one. Let me take a peek. Yeah, look, that wagon block is right there. Whoops, whoops, right there. It's so cute. I cannot wait to make this quilt top with you guys. So this so long is going to be 12 weeks long, just like the original. This is a wrap for, for uh, week one for the chrome pumpkin block. All I have to do is let my happy little stitch shop one go ahead and finish drying. And then I will applique both of them. And then I will trim it down to with the 10, ten and a half inch trimmit ruler. Now that 10 and a half inch trimmit ruler, and Lori says this in her video and in her blog post, this is gonna be your friend when placing out these blocks. So be sure you have your trimmit rulers to be able to use and, and know that all of your pieces are gonna be inside the trimmit ruler window uh, when you're placing all of your pieces to create your picture. So it's, the trimmit rulers are gonna be really, really handy. Um, so thank you so much for joining me for week one. I hope you will come back and join me each week as we make our Autumn Love Quilt together. We will be done with this at the beginning of October, so just in time to enjoy your Autumn Love Quilt for the fall season. And I am so excited! We're going to be done with it before we start fun Funtober at Happy Little Stitch Shop. 
So I hope you'll be back here with me next week when we tackle the wagon block. In the meantime, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video and if you want any other information in future videos. Um, please be sure to check out Happy Little, Happy Little Stitch Shop on Instagram and Facebook. And please also be sure to go to happylittlestitchshop.com for all of your quilting and cross stitch and crochet goodies. And I will be back here with you again next week for our Autumn Love Week 2 video. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy stitching, everybody. Take care.